Hello guys, welcome to another awesome video. I'm humble self Chukwokobilago. And in today's video, I want to talk about the different networks that exist uh, within the Bitcoin and the Ethereum space, or within the cryptocurrency space, okay? Because there's lots of networks. Now, when I mean networks, there are, or I mean blockchains. There are different blockchains, lots of blockchains, okay? But the, we're going to talk about, talk about the most common ones, okay? in relation to bitcoin and in relation to ethereum okay so uh and also part of the reason for this training uh, for this video was because of the voting that was done recently where the Ford mass swap community chose okay to add two pools bitcoin and ethereum pool to Ford mass swap okay so, but before we go ahead and add it, I just want to make sure that everybody understands the difference between Bitcoin on Binance Smart Chain and Bitcoin on Bitcoin Network Chain uh, Space or Bitcoin on Ethereum Space. Okay, so we have here, this is uh, from my Binance account, okay, uh, withdraw Bitcoin. So, let's say if I want to withdraw Bitcoin, there's always one question they ask. They ask which network, okay, is that a BEP2 BAP20, which is Binance Smart Chain, that is BSC, BTC, or ERC20. Okay? And when you want to withdraw Ethereum or Ethereum related cryptocurrency, you're going to be asked whether it is BAP20, BAP2, ERC20. Okay? So the question now is what are these different networks? What do they mean? Okay? So we are going to start with BAP2. BEP2 means Binance Chain, okay? Binance was first started as a, an exchange. It created this coin, first of all, on Ethereum Network as an ERC20 before moving on to create its own blockchain, which was Binance Chain, okay? So Binance Chain right now in terms of cryptocurrencies that run, on, apart from, you know, BNB, Cryptocurrencies that exist or that are created on Binance or Binance Chain are labeled BEP20. Sorry, BEP2. Okay, BEP2 tokens. BEP2. Let me say it again. BEP2 tokens. Okay. So you have BEP20 here. BEP20 uh, is a result of fork of ethereum when i say fork i mean f-o-r-k fork of ethereum binance took uh how do i call it binance created a version of the ethereum blockchain called binance smart chain okay now instead of this network to run on proof of work like you have with binance chain and binance and the uh, ethereum blockchain and bitcoin network Okay, BP20 runs on what is called proof of stake, same as strong. Proof of stake, but it's not only proof of stake, it's proof of stake authority. That is POSA. P -O -S -A. Okay, proof of stake authority. That's what Binance Smart Chain runs. And that enables it to have, you know, faster transactions at the cheapest fee. Okay. Then you have the Bitcoin network. Now, the Bitcoin network is only applicable to Bitcoin because Bitcoin blockchain is not designed for people to build cryptocurrencies on top of it. Okay? You can fork it. I get what I'm saying. You can fork it. And I'm F O R K. Okay? You can fork it, but you cannot build on top. I get what I'm saying. Same way you can build on top Ethereum blockchain or on top of Binance Smart Chain blockchain. Or even on top of Trump blockchain, okay? You cannot do that with Bitcoin, okay? That's why you're not seeing Bitcoin as an option here, okay? So, then you have ERC20. ERC20 is uh, Ethereum-based cryptocurrencies built on top of Ethereum blockchain, okay? So, the likes of USD Theta, you also have you. So, the likes of USD Theta... You know, the likes of TST, TMT, FMT that all have ARC20 options 
are cryptocurrencies built on Ethereum blockchain. So that's why they have the uh, symbol ERC20. Okay? ERC20. Now, the question now is how do these networks operate or how do you now how do this network operate okay each of these network have their strengths some are cheaper transaction fees some are faster the best is binance smart chain because it's cheap and also cheap fee and it's also fast okay so because of this vast network options okay you now have things like bitcoin Ethereum, USDT, Uni, all being on these three networks, these three main network, and that is BP2, BP20, and ERC20. Okay, okay. So you can see here that under Bitcoin, you find out that Bitcoin has BP2. Uh, you can send B Bitcoin to BEP2 network. You can send Bitcoin to BEP20 network. You can send Bitcoin to Bitcoin network. And you can also send uh, Bitcoin on the ERC20 network. Now, the Bitcoin on BEP2 network is still Bitcoin. But you will notice that if you're using Trust Wallet, if you're using Trust Wallet, you will notice that the Bitcoin address you have on your Trust Wallet is big, starting with BNB. Okay, instead of one or three, that is normally known for you know Bitcoin addresses, you have BNB starting it. Any address you see, see starting with BNB is BEP2 cryptocurrency, is BEP2 network. That coin or that address is meant for BEP2 cryptocurrencies. Okay, so that's why in your trust wallet, what you're using in your trust wallet is Bitcoin bp2 okay bitcoin bp2 that's what you're using okay so in the case of bp20 okay bp20 is uh, kind of a, a copy of ethereum blockchain but running on uh, proof of stake authority protocol okay so which means that you can send bitcoin okay to this network all right but when you're sending through this network you need to understand that you are not going you are going to receive what is called btcb okay so btcb is bitcoin or pegged bitcoin i get what i'm saying that is bitcoin pegged to to the to the original bitcoin okay that is one bitcoin on bitcoin network is equal to one bitcoin on either of this network whether it's bp2 bp20 or erc20 but the difference lies on how fast and how cheap the transaction fee is also it also lies on the addresses because binance smart chain uses the same wallet address okay if you're using trust wallet and you want to accept binance you want to accept uh, bitcoin on binance smart chain network or you want to accept a uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum network, you're likely going to use the same address to receive both. Same thing with when you're receiving Ethereum based transaction. You're likely going to use you it's not likely you are going to use same address as your Ethereum based counter as as your Ethereum uh, as your Ethereum address to receive minor smart chain uh, cryptocurrencies. Okay, so they have start with the OX protocol okay then you have uh, i'm talking about big i've talked about bp uh, bitcoin so then you have about erc20 erc20 same ox protocol okay same address as your binance smart chain okay the only difference is that the ethereum gas fee right now is high and the network congestion is high okay so in terms of which one is the fastest bp20 is the fastest in terms of which one has the cheapest transaction fee bp20 has the cheapest transaction fee okay so what advice are you going to get if you're watching this video you are get you're going to get if you're still watching this video you're going to get the best advice you've never gotten from anybody okay so here it is always make sure 
to know what network you are using. Okay? If somebody says he wants to sell you Bitcoin, ask them what network of Bitcoin they are using. Okay? Because if they are using Bitcoin on Trust Wallet, trust me, they are using BEP2 Bitcoin. I get what I'm saying. If they if if they are using Ethereum BEP2, okay, all you simply need to do is give them the same wallet address as BEP2. That is the address that starts with BNB. Okay, but if somebody is using Binance Smart Chain, please do not go and send Bitcoin Binance Smart Chain to any other network, even your Luno network. Or even your Binance, Binance Exchange account if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. And even on Trust Wallet, Bitcoin is represented as BTCB. And I think Ethereum is also represented as ETHB. But mostly I see Ether. Okay. Same applies to Uni. Same applies to every single thing that you know. About every single cryptocurrency that you are aware of especially if they are on these networks okay dog coin is on bp20 network i don't know if it's on erc20 bitcoin is in erc20 ethereum is on erc20 which is ether okay same thing with uh bitcoin bitcoin in in in, in erc20 bitcoin is there as rat bitcoin on ren btc okay or ren btc okay it's very important that you guys know this because so that if you are dealing with fordman swap okay you have to understand that we are using bp20 tokens or we're using binance smart chain so every single coin that is on binance smart chain that is available or the pool is created on fordman swap will be only sent within this space within the Binance Smart Chain space. If peradventure you want to access the other networks, okay, I can guide you. Okay, so for example, let's say you trade TST or you trade FMT for Bitcoin or you trade KNG for Bitcoin. Guess what will happen? What you will have is BTCB, okay, in your wallet. Now, if you want to convert that BTCB okay to uh bitcoin uh you want to convert it to bitcoin network so that you can send it to your trust wallet or to your luno wallet or to your roku wallet or to your binance wallet then all you need to do is just contact me i can help you do the conversion okay i can help you do the conversion all right i can help you do the conversion from binance smart chain network okay to to any network you want whether it's erc20 whether it is uh whether it's um bitcoin actual network or whether it's erc20 i can help you do that or whether it's bp2 i can help you do that okay so that's it for this video just want to make sure that you guys um get the point of the video okay to understand the different networks the main networks that we're dealing with and to understand what to do and what not to do so let me retreat my steps again please do not send bitcoin from another network to a different network do not send bitcoin um that is meant for bp20 and you send it to uh what's it called and you send it to erc20 or you send it to um bitcoin network it has to be bp20 wallet too okay so guys that's it for this video just want to make sure you guys get the message more videos are coming to address um uh, to do address certain things okay uh including uh, the planned reward program that we are working on okay so guys that's it for this video I want to thank you guys for watching until i see you guys next time take care and bye for now